Welcome back to the Billy Corner. In today's episode, we're going to be testing nine of the most popular chalks that you guys requested. Now, I know there's a lot of different chalk brands out there that you guys want me to test. I know I saw the comments on the last chalk video, but keep in mind, this is still a relatively small channel and a lot of times I have to spend my own hard-earned money in order to buy and test these chalks for you guys. Some of these chalks cost 10, 20, and even $30 and that just really adds up. So I hope you guys understand. With that said, if you guys wanna see more free pool content in the future, make sure to hit the sub button below. We're getting really close to 5,000 subscribers and it would really help out the channel. Before each test, I'm going to be cleaning the tip as well as scuffing it to make sure that I get an even surface area to apply the new chalk on. I'm also going to be cleaning the ball every single time to make sure I don't have any residual chalk on the ball. I'm also going to make sure that I'm not rotating my cue when I hit the ball to make sure that I hit the same spot on the tip every single time. The tip that I'm using on this test is a precision tip made by Dennis Searing. Alright, let's go ahead and get started testing. Master Chuck is very affordable at only around $12 for a box of 24. Master Chuck has been a standard for many pool players and pool halls due to his good performance and affordability. The chalk comes in a variety of colors and goes on the tip nicely. It's also not particularly messy or clean. I found that with Master Chuck, you kind of have to break it in in order for it to go on smooth. Master Chuck simply gets the job done with no frills and is made for those who want good quality chalk at a great price. Blue Diamond Chalk is a premium chalk that comes in a pack of two for only around $10. The chalk's consistency feels very similar to Master's Chalk, but goes on the tip slightly better. It feels a little gritty, and is also not particularly messy or clean. Unlike Master's Chalk, this chalk feels great right out of the box and cries no break-in. Blue Diamond feels like an upgraded Master's Chalk that offers slightly better performance at a decent price point. Predator Chalk comes in a box of 5 at only around $10. The chalk feels very gritty and definitely goes on a lot easier when compared to Masters or Blue Diamond. The chalk itself is very dirty and stains the cloth, shaft, and hands rather quickly. You are able to really cake on this chalk on the tip. The shape is rather unusual and tends to roll off the table if set on the side. Although not as clean, Predator Chalk feels great to use and goes on the tip very easily. Russian Magic Chalk comes in a box of two at around $12. Russian Magic Chalk has been a crowd favorite ever since Dr. Dave's video. The chalk feels gritty, but not as gritty as the Predator Chalk. The chalk goes on tip very nicely and is cleaner than Predator. Russian Magic Chalk would be a great alternative for those looking for a gritty chalk that performs well, but is also cleaner than Predator. Great White Chalk comes in a box of two at around $25. The chalk feels gritty and goes on a tip insanely easy. I was honestly surprised by how easy it is to apply the chalk. Great White definitely beats out many premium chalk brands out there on how easy it is to apply. Phenolic and acrylic tips are notoriously difficult to apply chalk to, but Great White goes on those tips with ease. The chalk offers great performance but also gets really dirty on my blue cloth. Great White is a great option for those looking for chalk that offers insanely easy coverage on tips, but don't mind getting the table dirty. The Exceed X Chalk is light blue in color and costs around $23 a piece. The chalk looks and feels very premium. It even has little cutouts on the paper for when the chalk wears down. The chalk itself feels very smooth in texture and goes on the tip nicely. The chalk seems to really stick to the tip and doesn't want to come off. I found that with the Exceed X Chalk, Taeyam, and Kamui Roku, you aren't really able to kick on the chalk like the Predator or Magic Chalk. Since the Exceed is so clean, this could also potentially result in less skids during matches. The chalk also has a metal bottom for magnetic chalk holders so you don't lose it while playing. The chalk is also very clean and offers great performance and quality for its users. The Tam Pyro has got to be one of the most requested chalks for me to test. The Tam costs around $23 a piece and is circular in shape. What I immediately noticed about Tam is how clean it is. The chalk hardly leaves any residue on the ball and table which can in turn result in less skids during matches. The chalk seems to really stick on the tip and goes on rather smoothly. The Tam has a slightly grittier feel when compared to the Kamui Roku. Just like the Exceed X Chalk and Kamui Roku, you can't really cake on this chalk. What's interesting about the Tayama is that it seems to last really long. I've been using this same piece for a while now and it's hardly changed in shape and size. <laughs> K 
Kamui Roku was also highly requested for this test. The Roku costs around $25 a piece and is hexagon shaped. The Kamui Roku is very clean and offers similar characteristics to the Taeyang. The Kamui Roku has similar consistency as the Taeyang but does feel slightly smoother during application. The result is that the Kamui goes on the tip slightly easier than the Taeyang. Just like the Exceed and Taeyang chalk, you can't really cake on this chalk. The chalk really clings and sticks on the tip, leaving very little residue. This could also mean potentially less skids during matches too. I have a feeling that the Exceed, Taeyang, and Kamui are using similar technologies to achieve these characteristics. The Kamui could also be purchased with a very high quality magnetic holders. This magnetic holder is super strong and will keep you from losing your expensive chalk. The Kamui 0.98 was my first experience with a premium chalk back in the day. The chalk cost $30 a piece, which is rather expensive. However, during testing, I found that the Kamui 0.98 was able to perform the most hits before a miscue, which surprised me. I performed this test multiple times and got very similar results every time. The 0.98 feels really soft and smooth in texture. It almost feels like a soft clay or lipstick and goes on the tip insanely easy just like the Great White Chalk. One of the drawbacks is that this chalk is really dirty and gets all over your equipment, which is probably why Kamui developed the Roku. So you may be asking yourself, what is the best chalk? And the answer is, well, it depends. If you're a person that likes to chalk after every shot and you want the best bang for buck chalk out there, it's really difficult to beat Master's Chalk. I mean, Master's Chalk has been the standard in the pool world for a really long time, and there's a reason for that. It's affordable and has great performance for what it is. Now, if you're willing to pay a little bit more money for better performance, Blue Diamond, Predator, and Russian Magic Chalk are all really great options because they're still relatively affordable at around $10 to $12 range. Those chalks tend to go on the tip a lot easier when compared to Master's Chalk. Now, if you want a gritty chalk that goes on the tip super easy, but don't mind the mess, Great White Chalk is honestly a really great option. I was quite surprised by how easy it goes on a tip. Like I mentioned earlier, phenolic and acrylic tips are notoriously known to be difficult to chalk. However, Great White goes on it super easy. Now, if you're putting Great White on your regular leather tip, it goes on super smooth and gritty. Now, if you want a chalk that's super clean that will help prevent skids during matches, the Taeyang Pyro is by far the cleanest chalk out of all the ones that I've tested today. Something that I did notice of the Taeyang Pyro is that it's just a little bit more difficult to put chalk on the tip, even after scuffing the tip. What's interesting about the more higher end expensive chalk like the Exceed X chalk, Kamui Roku, and the Taeyang Pyro is that they tend to really stick onto the tip. They don't create a cloud of smoke when you're using it, and they allow you to have more hits before chalking. Now the Kamui Roku and the Exceed X chalk seems to be a really great balance. They go on the tip really nicely and is still generally pretty clean. Both of those chalks really stick onto the tip and allows you to hit more balls before a miscue. Now the Kamui 0.98 really surprised me. It had the most hits before a miscue out of all the chalks that I've tested today. In the beginning, I thought it might have been a fluke, but I did the test over and over again and I got really similar results. Although the Kamui 0.98 had the most hits before a miscue, the chalk itself is actually not very clean. The chalk itself feels like a really soft clay and goes on the tip really nicely. However, it does get really dirty. It gets all over your hands, table, and I think that's why Kamui developed the Roku. In the end, the best chalk all comes down to personal preference. If you like Master's Chalk, go for Master's Chalk. If you're willing to pay more for a premium chalk, then go for the premium chalk. Alright, I think that's all I got for you guys today. I want to give a huge shout out to John at Kamui for sending me these Kamui products to test for you guys. I also want to thank Jared for sending me the Taeyang. And I also want to thank Chris for sending me the Great White Chalk. Without these people, this episode wouldn't be possible and I want to give a huge thanks to them. If you guys want to buy any of these products, I'll post all the links below. Also, if you want to chat with me, ask me questions about cues, tips, or whatever, I got a Facebook group that I'll also link below too. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button to support this channel. Subscribe if you want to see more free pool content in the future. See you guys next time.